Well, good morning, and welcome to day 16 of our Advent devotional, reading through the Bible from Genesis all the way out to Revelation as we prepare for Christmas. Today we're reading about the dry bones in the book of Ezekiel. So if you have your Bible, start flipping over to Ezekiel, to that book. And if you don't have your Bible yet, then go ahead, grab it, find Ezekiel, and then we'll read these words together. We're reading from Ezekiel chapter 37 today. So flip over to chapter 37 and we will start reading in verse number 1. Let's, uh, let's read God's word together this morning. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. And he led me around among them, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God of these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied there was a sound, and behold, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord of God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are indeed cut off. Therefore prophesy, and say to them, Thus says the Lord your God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord, when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people. And I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Ezekiel was a prophet, uh, someone who was called by God to speak on behalf of God to his people, the Israelites. God spoke to Ezekiel in visions. Even if God doesn't give us literal dreams, we all need vision in our lives to see things the way that God does. God's people, Israel, were exiled from their homeland. They had no king and no temple with which to worship God. They got into this mess because they were divided and not following God's commands. It would have been almost impossible to imagine how this situation could be remedied. But God gave Ezekiel this vision to give him hope that the God we serve can bring even the driest of dead bones back to life. So what's dead around you? And how is God speaking to you now about his plan to redeem it? The truth is that we were once like the dead bones in this story. Our sin had separated us from God and we were hopeless to fix it. But God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 Jesus brought us from death to life when he died on the cross and was raised again three days later. So as you go to pray today, talk with God about all the dry bones that you see around you. Be honest about the things that to you seem hopeless. Then, thank God for the reminder today that he can even save the person who seems the furthest from him. And like Ezekiel, ask God to help you believe it and be part of the resurrection story that he is telling now. Today's application is easy, uh, but you have to step out of your comfort zone a little. 
Today's call to action is to call an older person in the church. And maybe your parents can help you think of the right person to call. But give them a call and wish them a Merry Christmas. See if there's any way that you can be praying for them over the holidays. It doesn't have to be a long call, but go out of your way to wish someone from our church a Merry Christmas. Well, that is all the time that we have for this morning. I hope and pray that whatever your day looks like today, that you remember this story of God bringing life back to the dry bones. That reminds us that no matter how far away we are from God, he's not too far away to redeem us. Have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning.